I'm ready to start. You know what we're gonna learn talk about today? It's a very interesting topic. Yes, yes, you are right. We are going to talk about that. We are going to talk about space. Well, have you ever have you ever said to your mom and dad, "You are the best mom in the universe"? That's what we're going to talk about today. Have you ever wondered what does the universe mean? Because we only know what the world means. Have you ever wondered what the universe means? That's what, now we're gonna know what the universe means because we're not gonna talk about it today. We all know about there's seven continents, there's lots of air to read, there's humans, there's animals. So now we're gonna move on. Now we're gonna zoom up from her and let's see what we can see. Now we're gonna see all of these planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto. But Pluto is not, we call Pluto the dwarf planet because we don't really say it's a planet because it's very small. So now from the sun, we know that the sun is pulling all our planets to rotate around it. And and our sun is the, also one of our stars. Our, our sun is our star that's causing the light. So we already learned one factor about our sun. Now let's learn lots of things about our sun. Our sun is really hot. And also rocket ships can never reach the sun. And that way it's because if they, because they are, the scientists already know, but if they reach the sun, oh no, the rocket ships are burned. Also, there are more facts. The sun is very, very far away. And also, if we put all the planets combined together, the sun is more bigger than that. And also, to reach the sun, it's going to take years and years. So now let's zoom out from our solar system. Now I come to our galaxy. Our galaxy has has billions and billions of stars. Our sun is not just one star. The, the galaxy has more. And also our sun is one star in the galaxy. So this is a picture of our galaxy. So so look how big our galaxy com compared to our solar system. Look, our solar system is just this little, little dot. How could that be so? Because our sun or all our planets they're so big so how could how could this just be our our solar systems come compared to our milky way do you know a cool fact uh, the closest star from earth and sun it's its name is proxima century so the light waves from proxima century are going to take four years to reach our earth but the sun's light waves are going to take like they're going to take eight minutes to reach our earth all the light waves are the fastest things on earth they're even faster than rocket ships so remember i told you it will take eight like eight years for Proxima Century's light waves to reach our Earth. So that means if a rocket ship wants to go to Proxima Century, then it's maybe, it's gonna take more than hundreds of years to reach Proxima Century. So from the light of the closest star, it takes so much time to look. How much bigger will our galaxy be? Uh, and it doesn't end there. We already talked about Milky Way, now we're gonna zoom out. Let's talk about the universe. The universe, it's so big that that we can't even measure it. And each, and there's so many things in the universe that no one ever knows how big the universe is. And each, so, so you'll see all of these dots. Each one of them are one galaxy in the whole big universe. And it doesn't end there. In fact, it's so big, the scientists don't even know how to measure it. But in fact, when you and me grow up, let's, let's figure that out. You know something in our universe we haven't talked about? It's the black hole that we're gonna talk about in my next science video. Also, go to YouTube and check out my other science videos. Bye bye, see you on the, on the Black House science video.